Hello everyone, this is our local customer. I got two PS5 from him. This one here, it has no power and he wanna fix this one. And he did bring this one for parts to swap some parts from this one to the other one. So we can fix the other one. I asked him what's wrong with this one. He said he sent it to Sony for the warranty and Sony said cannot fix. Yeah, that's all and send it back to him so is you know you can't tell if the customer is saying the truth or anyway I plug this one to the power and the HDMI it turns on white light is on I have a display but there is a software issue you can see it so I know this one it turns on that's strange. This is look like it's been opened before a couple times. Okay, yeah. This PS5, second one, it doesn't power on. Plug it, that is completely dead. And there is some cockroaches. Well, they look like uh, are dead cockroaches. That's a baby cockroach. Nobody likes you. What do you mean, babies? Me let it go? I said, I said nobody likes you. So let's check the voltage and the power supply. We should have like a 12 volt. Yeah, no voltage. So it looks like it's a bad power supply. Yeah, look like the cockroaches killed this uh, game console. So let's go to check the fuse. The fuse is open. Yeah, the fuse is open. Is there any shirt? We can check in the rectify bridge. This piece here. Yeah, there is a shirt in the rectify bridge. It's mean the MOSFET is shorted. 
yep the MOSFET is completely shorted the MOSFET is shorted all the three pins even the gate Yeah, three pens, all three of them shorted. Sunshine is back out over the stand. He's been uh, very good since coming on. Nuno de Costa providing the assist for the uh, neon goal. Should have got one himself. The low home resistor is good. This one here. The problem when the MOSFET is shorted, right before the fuse open, it will send that high voltage, that 110, in the pen that says the gate. That's supposed to be a 12 volt or something around that. So it's go around this resistor, it's go to here. So one kilo on that resistor. Shall I be? Thank the gauges right here. We have zero ohm resistor. Fifty ohm, and we have a diode. Look like the diode shorted. Yeah, we have the same reading both ways. 0 0.02. 0 0.02. Then it's go to the 10 ohm resistor. Zero point two. Zero point two. This diode, if it's, if this diode is, uh, if this diode is still good. So we were think maybe this one still, but this one is not. Or no. The diode is on the parallel with the resistor. Could be the diode still good. Yeah, look like you see this diode here. It's go here, then the other side of resistor, it's go here. So could be the diode still good. But this diode it tested as well. This one here. This one we have read in both ways as well. This one. So before I go and check that power supply, I'm gonna install mine and uh, we test the game console. So wanna be sure the board is good. And if yes, I'm gonna take the the power supply and from the other one put it here then we try to fix the other one so you need to do what the customer ask you first then uh, if anything extra is it's good uh, no my power supply doesn't fit here So I just say remove the two diodes. Okay. Yeah, the two consoles they have a different power supply, and we can't uh, we can't use that power supply in the other console. So let's try to fix the 
the power supply that they have. So I already removed these two diodes that it was giving me a strange reading. So this side is open and if we flip 0.5 second diode so open this way point seven this way so these two diodes both of them are good It was a shirt, and after we removed the MOSFET, the shirt is gone. This diode, I took it from the board and tested it is not shirt, and this diode as well. We can check these diodes as well. They are good. Yeah, this diode is tested as a, like the reading is both way. 0 0.01 and this low reading cause because it is a parallel with this diode here is a parallel with this resistor this diode as well I think it was like a reading one point something and if we flip 0 0.6 yeah that's good This one it's good. Yep, point three. So this diode is still good.
I ordered the, the MOSFET and I was about I was looking to order this IC as well the switch in IC but I can't find anything like matching this one it's out of stock so we just will replace the, the, the MOSFET and hopefully power supply it works And I can't find this uh, this kind of the power supply for sale. So now it's gonna work or it's gonna explode. And yeah, we need to jump the fuse. Don't worry, it's, you are too far from it. So let's put something on the top of the power supply. So we don't want anything like flying. So we'll wait a little bit just to be sure it's nothing getting hot, nothing explode. No. Alright, let's check the voltage. It's 12 volt, it works. 12 volt, it works. So, just have to change the fuse and it's good to go. That's good. And we put the thermal paste. This is T8, so that's a uh, 8M fuse, so it all works good for us. Hmm. But first, does it work? Use is good. Yeah, these capacitors they hold a lot of charge. So Good. Okay, let's take this fuse.
the thermal, the liquid metal is right in the center, it's good. So let's pour it together. Everything plugged to the power. It turns on the blue light. It's great. Now we have the white light it's over there. Yep, we have the PS logo fixed. So I'm just going to have to put all these ton screws back and uh, give it back to the customer. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to help the channel and see you again.